Hi, I'm Trevor Conkergood from Sunset Stitches, and today I'm excited to be using Floriani Total Control U software, and I'm going to show you how to create a redwork design. I digitized this redwork lady using some really fun and easy to use tools, and so that's what we're going to do today. What I'm going to do, first of all, uh, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Actually, before I even do that, I'm not really an artist. I can't draw this red work lady design. I used a JPEG image. And so what I can do, I'm just going to use the select tool to drag a box around that embroidery stitches, those segments that I made. And I'm just going to move her off to the side here and then let go. And now if I look closely, you can see, I'll just zoom in a little bit. Here's a image that I used to follow. Now, if you want, you can make your images lighter or darker. So if I use my backdrop tool, you can see here that this is how I would have inserted this image onto my background. And then I can control it now, the size of it or the lightness or darkness of it. So yeah, anyway, I've basically just taken a picture like you would from the internet and brought it onto my screen. Now, um, I know in Kathy Quinn's last video, she was showing us how to use the one-step kind of instant red work uh, tool. But what I wanted to do today is show you how you could take a little bit more control. And I find it really kind of fun to draw the lines myself. And up here on the top is my create something toolbar. And right here, there's a line tool. If I click on the little triangle and hold it, you'll see it opens up and there's a, I guess, tool options here. So you have a kind of a straight line, or I guess the line tool, we've got the pen tool, and we've got the bezier tool. And they're basically three different ways to draw a line. I'll start with the first one, line, and then when I have it turned on, I can basically click, and every time I click, it just draws the next line. Um, if I right click, it completes the segment. And if I come to the tool group and grab the next one, which is the pen. To me, this is like a bit of a freehand tool. I click and drag, and as I draw my lines forward, it puts down that line. So I don't have to click the points as much as I click and drag to draw it. And when I right click, it finishes that segment. See how it connected those two lines that I drew? So you can actually, if I do it again, when you're using that tool, you can draw a line and let go and then keep going and it doesn't disconnect it until I right click. And then it's a new segment. So here I have created, look, one segment here. Can you see them? They're artwork. I'm just drawing artwork here. There's no stitches yet, just lines. So I drew this line and I can use this little select tool to click on them to select them. So it's as easy as that, I'm drawing lines. Now the other tool, so that was the freehand and the last one's called Bezier. And Bezier is kind of like the line tool in that if I just click, I get corner points, but with Bezier, the difference is I can click and drag to get curved points. And so as you're drawing lines, you can click and drag before you let go. So if I just click and let go right away, I get corners, but if I click and drag, I get a bit of a curve to my line. And so you can create smooth lines that way. Anyway, when I right click it, let's go. And that's how it works. You draw a line. And I don't know if you follow along with the emails that come out from the, you know, my Floriani club, but they were talking in the last one about hotkeys and shortcut keys. Well, they come in perfect here. Let me just example. Control A is select all. Oh, I don't want to do that, do I? Let's zoom out. So look, view and then zoom. And we'll just say fit to window. I don't really want to select everything because I forgot that I have an embroidery design here I'm going to want to use in a minute. So I'm just going to click and drag. Another way to select these objects is just to click and drag around them and see how it selected all of those artwork objects. And I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of them. And zoom in again. So this is the zoom tool. And I'll just magnify, draw a little box around the design. So just to give you an idea, um, I know that from those hotkeys that if I type in B, I get the Bezier line tool. And I could just simply go click, click, right click, and draw a line. Type B, click, click, right click, and draw a line. So it's type B, click, click, right click, draw the line. Um, so it's really quite easy to draw all of the, I guess, parts of your line, of your design in individual lines. So a red, by following this artwork, I get to kind of decide, I guess, 
how the lines are going to look and where they get placed. So I'm drawing them myself. And like I said, type B, and if you want to curve your line, just kind of click in the middle and drag a little bit, and it sort of gives it a, a curved look to it. Right click to let go. And maybe you could see that better if I lightened up the backdrop just a little bit. See, so that's what I've drawn as a bunch of lines. I'll draw another one. So what did I do? Type B, type B, and then draw a line. And click and drag if I want it to curve and just click if I want it to be straight. And right click to let go. And so how many lines have I created now? I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines or nine or 10, whatever it is lines. I could select them. So, okay, first thing is they're just lines, but we want to make embroidery. So we'll need to add a stitch style. So I'll just use the, the technique I'm using to select them all is this. I'm going to click on the first one and I'm going to come down and I'm going to click on the last one and hold shift and it selects all of the ones in between. I could also just drag a box around them like that and it selects all the ones. So whatever method you like. The point is I need to give them some threads. So let's come down here. These are all our thread styles and I'm thinking red work. So we want to use running stitches. So right away, I add those running stitches, and if I turn it on to 3D, you can see, there we have it. We're creating a red work embroidery design. If I was to go and type B, I could keep drawing the lines of our design. So um, with the Bezier tool, you can just click, 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 and then if you want to round them, you just click and drag. Otherwise, it's just click, click, click. And then when you get to the end of your line, right click, and it's just a line, so I'm going to give it that run stitch property. So it's really no different than choosing the run stitch line tool. So this is the tool I've been using here, the Bezier artwork tool, but I could also just go straight to drawing run stitches and do the same kind of concept of drawing those lines, right click to let go, and it instantly converts it to thread. Now, the thing is, I've drawn all these individual lines, but if you were to stitch this out right now, you might be a little bit frustrated with me because they're not really well thought out. They're just a bunch of lines. And if I turn off that 3D view and look really closely, can you see little dotted lines? Well, that's the software trying to connect these lines together because they're all individual lines. And so basically when I draw this line, so I guess what was the, I drew this line and then I drew this line next. And so the software jumps from the end of the line I made to the beginning of the next. And that's really not a pleasure to sew. So the solution is I'm going to select them all. And I'm going to use a tool called Combine. And it's found here on your, I guess, underneath your Create Something toolbar is your Edit Something toolbar. And right now I'm going to choose Combine. and see what happened on my sequence view. I'm just gonna hit undo here because you're allowed to undo what you did. See, I have a design. Look at, there's the little lady. Let me just zoom out for a minute. Tools, or sorry, view, zoom, fit to window. So I have a design over here. Notice with the lady, if I click on her, it just selects the whole, it's like, it's all one thing. Whereas here, I have all these little individual things call them segments because that's the technical term. And I can draw a box around all those individual segments and use combine to make them one segment. And when you combine them, the software understands that they belong together and therefore it teaches the stitching to have no jump stitches and you get a perfect uh, two ply kind of red work style embroidery design. And so it was that easy to digitize all the, I just basically made all the lines for this lady, little, Break it down. It's just a line. Anybody, and you can trace just as easy as I do. And if I'm, if you're like me, you've probably been watching Mr. Walter Floriani's um, webinars, and he wants you to, he wants to see more people being creative with the software. And I'm trying to help you see how easy that can be with this video. So that's the point. Now, um, I want to stitch mine out, and so what I did before I stitched it out. In fact, what I'll do is just get rid of those stitches that I just made and show you exactly what I did. So I digitized the lady at four inches tall. I have her selected and I'm going to use this tool here for duplicate. Just click duplicate and then click and it places, an, I guess, a second copy of the design, which I will transform or resize. I could grab a handle and drag it or I could come in the, this is the, 
segment that I have selected. And this is the properties of that segment. So I can see that it's a single run stitch with a 2.5 stitch length. And these are the ways, this is the total control that we have over the software. Um, Transform is a way to resize. So I can see that it's 99 millimeters, which is basically four inches. And I'm thinking 75 millimeters, which is basically three inches. And so I apply that and I'm just gonna bring that down and lay it beside the four inch version. And now I'm gonna duplicate my three inch version and I'll select her and transform her to be 50 millimeters, which is two inches because 25 millimeters is an inch. And so 50 is two inches. So there's two inches, three inches, and four inches. And that's what I did. I put them into my hoop. So I have a Janome. So I went to, um, you know, you can choose your exact hoop but for my machine. I have a 120 by 126 by 110 hoop. I saved the design to Janome Jeff format and I stitched it out and I stitched it with 40s weight embroidery thread so that you could see how using the same stitches at a smaller and smallest size changes this sort of look of the red work and this is stitched with Floriani 40s weight embroidery thread and then I stitched it again same design I just rehooped it and this time I stitched it using the 60s weight micro embroidery thread and look at the um look at the beautiful results it really shows the difference look at the small little lady at two inches and how you can still see all of that sort of interesting detail that came from that red work design and how easy it was to digitize it so yeah that was my video for today i wanted to just have a opportunity to talk about the line tool the duplicate tool combine tool and just in general give the message that i think it's fun and easy to create embroidery designs and i really enjoyed working with the floriani total control U software and um if you enjoyed my video, then please stay tuned for more information in the new year about uh, my new Floriani uh, workshop. Thanks very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.